nerds, hi yogis, welcome to a nerdy yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a yoga for beginners flow. We'll do a slow vinyasa, so just one slow vinyasa working you through it. Make sure you really understand what you're doing. To start though, we are going to warm up in um, ankle to knee pose, one of my favorite ways to warm up. So stacking your legs on top of each other, you got ankles and knees in line with each other, hence the name, sometimes called double pigeon. So we'll start here. Don't worry about pressing your top leg down, anything like that. Just let it be where it is. Let gravity do the stretch for you. Like I said, this is just the warm up. Don't need to worry about pushing too hard, anything like that. Just make sure your top foot is flexed, bottom foot can be flexed or uh, pointed with your bottom leg slightly rotated, whatever is most comfortable for you. And grounding into the earth with your sits bones, really grounding your hips down and lifting wave tall through your spine, out the crown of your head. And just sitting tall in this position, you're going to start with our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling here, feeling your low belly and breathing diaphragm expand wide in all directions. And exhale, squeeze everything in, out, in and up, exhaling through the nose. The big exhale sound. Inhale here, exhale, inhale. Exhale, and this time we're going to start adding some movement. So inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring fists to low belly. So fists of fire as you exhale. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale. Inhale, last time like that. Exhale. This time as you inhale, exhale, hands are going to come to heart center here in Namaste and just twist to the right. So really using your side body and your obliques core strength just to come to a twist. We're going to keep our hands here so we're really twisting from our core. We're not going to use our hands to twist us too far too fast. One more Mula Bandha breath here. Now you're going to come back to center. Place the left hand kind of out to the side you can bend your elbow and extend right arm reaches above you, stretching out that side body that we just worked. You can look up at your arm, you can look to the floor, you can look straight ahead, whatever's most comfortable for you. But really do think about grounding your right hip into the earth. It may want to lift as you're doing this stretch. And exhale, come back to center. Now here we're just going to switch sides. So again, ankles and knees are stacked on each other. Don't have to worry about how far down your, your top leg is going. Bottom leg, right leg, you can flex your foot or have a little stiletto asana, a little bit of a point, and then just rotate your shin kind of towards the floor. Left foot is going to be flexed. Letting gravity stretch our legs for us. And you can even move your sits bones back a little bit if you need to get more comfortable grounding your hips into the earth, wave, long spine, all the way out through the crown of your head. And getting back into that Mula Bandha breath. Sometimes we forget about it when we're doing our practice. That's totally okay. That happens. Just make sure that as you can, remind yourself to come back into it, especially when we're doing our warm-ups. It's a great time to remember. So inhaling here, exhale, squeeze everything in and out, exhaling through your nose. Inhale, exhale. You want to hear that victorious sound as you exhale. Now we'll start adding that movement again. So inhaling, reach up, exhale, fists come to the low belly for fists of fire. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, so you're squeezing your air in and up while you're bringing your arms down. So. A little, little mind trick there. Exhale. This time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, coming to Namaste and twisting to the left. Maintaining that long spine. You can even wave tall through the crown of your head again. Still wanting to do that Mula Bandha breath, even in these twists. That'll help deepen the pose without you having to twist any farther. And 
and just using your core strength to determine how far this twist can go. Back to center, right arm is going to reach out to the side. You can bend your right arm as much as you want or as little as you want, just extending your left arm overhead over your ear. Find a comfortable neck position and really think about grounding your left hip down towards the earth. Don't let that lift up off the ground. You don't want to be doing this because you're losing the stretch. So maybe your stretch is here and that's awesome. This is much better than coming down like this. We don't want that. So grounding your left hip, left arm is extending. And back to center, very nice. Now from here, making our way onto a hands and knees position. So you're gonna want strong fingertips firmly planted onto your mat or onto the ground. Strong palms, light on the hand of the heels. Really press into your earth here. We'll do uh, one cat cow. So arching your spine one direction and then the other. Round it out. Actually, you know what? Let's do a couple of those. Those feel really good. It's a great way to warm up all of the muscles along your spine, all of your deep core muscles. Getting ready for a little bit more active movement to come. Exhale now from here, really grounding to the earth with your hands, grounding into the earth with your feet, pressing yourself back into a downward facing dog. Heels are kind of making their way towards the mat. You don't have to worry about pressing them down. Start with bent knees. We're not super warmed up yet, so starting with bent knees, heels are just kind of making their way towards the earth, hanging out wherever they're, they're going to hang out. And from here, wave through your spine again, so you get a long spine extending through the crown of your head. Create space for your shoulders and your neck. And then if you want, you can press back a little bit more into the heels and extend your legs just a bit straighter, just to that first edge of stretch. If you want, you can start pedaling at your feet. This will help warm up the legs, warm up your calf muscles. And then come to settle in your down dog position. Again, not worrying about your feet touching the ground really, letting gravity do the work here for us. And from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. You're gonna lift your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, deep bend in the knees and elbows now. Lifting your knee into your chest for core plank. Extending it back up to the sky. Exhale, really bending it and creating space for your knee to lift. Inhale last time. Exhale, coming into your core plank. Now this time you're gonna come onto the pinky toe edge of your back foot that's on the mat. And step your right foot about halfway up onto the mat. So you've got a 90 degree angle with your right leg. Grounding into the earth with both of your feet and your left hand. Press away from the earth and extend your right arm towards the sky. You can even reach the right arm overhead, get a little bit more of a side body stretch. But really think about pressing the weight from the earth from with everything that is touching the mat. So a lot of lift in your hips. Right hand comes back to the earth, surfing up onto your back toes again, lifting your right foot, really lifting it back into that core plank, really lifting in and up with your core, and step the right foot to your right thumb. Now we have good alignment in our hips, bending both knees here, grounding into the earth, rolling yourself in and up into your high lunge. Very nice from here. We'll do that fist of fire move again. So inhale, exhale, slide bend in your back knee as you do your fist of fire lunge. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale one last time. Exhale for that last lunge. This time extending your back knee. Inhale forward. Exhale, strong fingertips to the earth again, strong palms. Step your right foot back, lifting up through that core plank. Stepping back into an actual plank, a high plank here. Now come onto your knees, lower down to the earth through your chaturanga. Shoulders always stay above your elbows here. You can point your toes, inhale, uh, prepare, waving your shoulders back, inhaling here, exhale, rolling yourself in and up, 
into a cobra. And really grounding to the earth with your strong palms again as you exhale, lifting up through your core, coming through pointed plank. And then step over one foot and the other, back to down dog. Whew, very nice. You can pedal out your feet again. That should feel good. You should maybe start noticing if your legs are a little bit more open, ready to stretch a bit more. And then we'll take that on the other side. So inhaling here, slight bend in your knees and elbows again. Lifts your left leg to the sky. Now deep bend in your knees and elbows. Exhale, coming into core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale for core plank two. Inhale, lift last time. Exhale, knee really lifts in and up. Come on to the outside, rotate to the outside of your right leg. Pinky toe side here. Left leg comes to meet the earth or left foot comes to meet the earth, kind of a 90 degree angle in your left leg, really grounding into the earth, both of your feet and your right hand, press away, left arm just unfurls towards the sky. So now we've really lifted hips, we're really challenging our, our core and our center. You can extend your left arm overhead again, deepening that side body stretch, whatever is more comfortable if you wanna lift it up or have it extending. Very nice. Take one more Mula Bunda breath here. As you exhale, firmly planting your hands back to the earth, coming back onto your toes with the right leg. Bend your, your elbows here to create space to really lift your left knee in and up into your core and step it forward to meet your left thumb. Inhale, wave your spine long. Always good to have a long spine when we're doing this. Bend your back knee grounding into the earth with your feet and rolling just in and up to your high lunge. Take a moment to settle in this pose before we do our fists of fire challenge. So inhale here, exhale, fists come to low belly as you bend your back knee just a little. Inhale up, exhale, inhale, last exhale here. Now as you extend your right leg just a bit again, you're going to reach yourself forward. Exhale, strongly planting your fingertips and palms onto the earth. Lifting up through that core plank, coming into high plank. Very nice. If you notice you maybe are a little too forward on your wrist, you can step it back a little. That's always good. Have good alignment. Come on to your knees. This will help uh, keep us healthy joints as we do these practice. So lowering down towards the earth on through your chaturanga inhale here prepare long spine rolling in and up really lifting up through the front of your low belly the front of your low back spine standing tall through the crown of the head and exhale lifting in and up through your core plank to down dog very nice pedal out your feet again notice the differences on your right and left side. We'll do one little vinyasa roll to sink all of that energy and heat that we just built. So lift onto your toes, bending knees and elbows really deep, rolling yourself forward, waving forward to plank, coming onto your knees, lower through chaturanga again. Inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up, and exhale. Back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, start to walk on your fingertips, coming back into a forward fold. So when you get here, start with bent knees, wave your spine long, exhale, folding over, and then you can extend your legs coming to that first edge of stretch. Taking a couple of breaths here to hang out in this forward fold. You can even, if you want, kind of um, be on your fingertips and kind of walk out your fold, get a little bit deeper stretch in your side. That can feel good as well. And then from here, coming onto your toes, we're just going to make our way towards the floor through a toe stretch. So we're stretching out our toes here. Walk yourself out onto your knees. You can kind of sit on your heels and we're stretching out the bottoms of our feet again. From here, I want you to rotate your palms behind you 
Interlace your fingers behind your back and then extend, come into a stretch, opening the front of your chest. It should feel good after all those planks and core planks that we did. And then from here, just walking yourself out however you want to get there to your mat, coming into your final resting pose, your Shavasana. So standing out onto the mat, taking up as much space on your floor as you want, being comfortable here, just sinking into the earth, letting that practice settle in, get you to a new normal. Stay here for a couple of minutes, really settling in to your yoga practice. Let it all seal into your body. I do hope that you enjoyed that slow vinyasa flow. I look forward to seeing you on the mat again, so make sure that you do subscribe to the YouTube channel. That will get notifications when I've got the new videos up, as well as get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list. I have exclusive content for you there that I really want to make sure you get. Look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.